Come on now. You know what I'm waiting for. Let's do it. Now we're in the present moment at Kings and Queens. Now you, yes you, can sit back and relax by so just positive energy and positive content onto y'all. You feel me? Take this positive energy. You ready? I'm going to charge it up. We just saw a butterfly. You see the good vibrations? Boom. Woo. Take it again. Take it again. Boom. Woo. You feel me? Now, sun's finally back out. I'm grateful. Nature looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Sun feels good, bro. Now, before that. Let's take a moment, a moment of now that we're in the present moment and now we can fully, y'all can fully hear what I have to say with this life-changing motivational speech. Let's take a moment of gratitude before we begin. Let's take a moment and be grateful. Be grateful to have vision. Be grateful to be able to hear. Be grateful to be able to speak. Be grateful to, be, to have legs to walk, bro. You feel me? Be grateful to have arms. And most importantly, be grateful that we got to see another day. Man, that's the most important thing. Is guess what? Today's Wednesday, right? Some people, let's look, look good, my boy. Some people passed last Tuesday. No, I mean, some people passed yesterday on Tuesday, right? And they didn't know that last Wednesday was the last Wednesday they were ever going to see in their life. It can be so easy for us to take the, to take things for granted because we feel so entitled to it. We feel entitled to go and see the next day. We feel entitled to have food in our refrigerator. But truth of the matter is, bro, there's people starving out there and you get to eat. Oh yeah, and another thing. You probably woke up in the bed today, right? Some people woke up sleeping under a bridge, on a park bench, on a park bus stop. But you got to wake up in a nice, warm, cozy bed. You probably had air conditioning, a couple blankets on you. And then you woke up, and you didn't even have to think about if you are going to eat that morning. Or even today, because you know you got food in your fridge. You got so much food in your fridge, you could throw food out and plain over. You have so much water, I and mean, when there's people in the world right now fighting over water that's not even clean. You have so much water, you could pour out five water bottles, and boom, have plain water left over. Isn't that crazy? Aren't you grateful? Comment one thing you're grateful for, please. Alright, now. Now that we got our intro in, bro, I'm feeling great. I feel amazing, bro. Now... I'm about to give y'all this life-changing motivational speech titled, You're Going to Die One Day. <sighs> enough talk, enough said. Let's get right into it. Whew. You're going to die one day. The average person lives for 27,375 days or 75 years. With that time, you are experiencing your time on earth. You will grow up from being a child having that innocence to a teenager figuring yourself out and being affected by society by society and your peers' standards of living. And then you and then you will start turning into a young young adult. Finding your job finding a job, partying, getting random hookups, getting all that out of your system before you settle down, right? And to continue from that, after you settle down, you are you go and you have a family. Of course, you have a family, because now you guys start getting serious. Then you retire, right? Then you go and you start growing old. And then you, and then you go and end up passing on to the afterlife. Whatever you may think that, that your depiction of the afterlife is, you know? Then, boom. And I mean, boom. It's over. You're done with your time here. That's the average human life, right? Isn't that the average human life? Isn't that how life goes? And within this life, you are probably going to think of a dream, like a fashion designer or a basketball star, whatever it may be, a dream that you see yourself doing, right? You see. You see, you see what I'm doing with my eyes? You see. That, that you see yourself doing. You're thinking of leaving your mark on this earth before you leave, before you leave here, so people can learn from your teachings far after you're gone. Like many years after you pass, people can still learn and be inspired, and be inspired by, what you do, by what you did. With your time here, right? Take this positive energy real quick. Boom. Woo, how to throw that at y'all real quick. Now, however, this is the turning point. This has to be the turning point in my video right now. This is a turning point in life where people get separated from ordinary to extraordinary. Mmm, left side. Mmm, right side. Take this positive energy. Boom. You feel me? I said they get separated from being ordinary people over here 
to extraordinary people all the way over here. You feel me? Now, however, a mass majority of people let other people plant negative seeds in their head. They put other people's opinions over their own opinion. You can't be doing that, bro. Do you know how special and amazing you are? Yeah, I mean that from the bottom of my heart, from my soul. They put other people's opinions over their own. They let people who gave up on their dreams and have no ambition, no aspirations at all in life, tell them they're no good. Tell them, oh, quit it. They let people tell them to stick to a nine to five. Don't follow your heart's duty. That stuff never works out. Do you really think you're going to be that? Ha 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 ha. You don't know what you're doing. Just find, a, just find a job and make money. But you know deep down that's not what you want. And you know deep down that you're better than that, right? You're going to die one day. You're going you're gonna to die one day. You are going to die one day, bro. Get this in your head. You are going to die one day. Get that in your head, bro. Don't let people like this bring you down. You are the only person who truly sees, sees your vision, your passion, your dream, your purpose for living, your purpose for serving. You feel me? It's good. Now, trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I know it can be difficult. It's going to take time, discipline, confidence, patience, faith, and trust in your process, bro. It really is. You have to... You have to have that patience and trust in your process and everything else I said. A lot of people don't have that, but guess what? You do. I believe in you. You should believe in you too. You, I'm confident in you. You should be confident in, you, you be confident in yourself too, bro. I, do you want to know how I know you have all, all those qualities? Because you clicked on this video. You saw something like, huh, maybe this will give me, my, give me that extra push. And trust me, it is, my fellow king or queen. Trust me, it is. Because you're not... You're not an ordinary person. You are an extraordinary person. You feel me? Now, to continue from that. It may take years of you eating shit and grinding your dreams to get there. Trust me. You have to get in that grit and grind mentality. You feel me? It's going to get there. It may take years, but you got to have patience. You can't just focus on the end result, bro. Because that end result is going gonna, gonna to distract you from enjoying the process. I love the process. I enjoy learning. I enjoy, I enjoy failing. Because when I fail, I just find another way that won't work. And I can get back up again. Use that as a stepping stone to do better next time. Because I learn from my mistakes. I don't run from them. You feel me? And you should do the same as well. You have to keep seeing that light at the end of the tunnel. Trust me. Let's say we're walking to the tunnel right now, right? I see that light. Oh man, I just got hit with some negativity. Oh, oh man, I, I just got hit with some doubt for somebody. Oh, oh, oh man, I'm doubting myself. But you keep going. You keep seeing that light at the end of the tunnel right there, and then boom. You see the light up there? Boom, light right there. We're at the end of the tunnel. We reached our dreams. We, we accomplished what we need to do, right? Yes, you see that? I know you like that, bro, because you are amazing. Now, I'm about to give y'all some quotes that should just spark up even more inspiration from. My own inner wisdom. You feel me? That's one of my biggest inspirations. Jay Shetty. Y'all should check him out. Said, don't worry about rejections. All you need is one person to say yes. And that person is you. You don't need anybody else's validation to go and chase your dreams except for you. You don't need your mothers, your fathers, your aunts, your brothers, your sisters, your boss, your friends. Only you can decide if you're going to chase that dream. Only you can. Trust me, please understand that, bro. My next one, by Bob Marley, another one of my biggest inspirations. All, all four of these people are, have had a huge impact on my life. Bob Marley. A life that doesn't impact others isn't a life worth living. Mmm, left side, mmm, right side. Take this positive energy, boom. You feel me? I feel great. You, you should feel great too. Because, bro, a life... Where you're living someone else's dream and someone else's interpretation of you, perception of you, is it a life worth living? Live life how you deem necessary. Don't be toxic with it. Do it in a positive, productive manner. Follow your dreams. Follow your heart's desire. Your heart's duty. You feel me? The next one. Gary Vaynerchuk. Man, do I love this guy, bro. In the words of another one of my biggest inspirations, Gary Vaynerchuk. You need to get on him too. Watch him. We only get to play this game one time. 
We only get life one time. I'm trying to get this life one time. I'm not trying to be recording none of that, bro. You get... Now I'm talking about that. You get this life one time. You got one shot to make it your own. It's either go big or go home. You get one shot. Why would you live that one shot based off someone else's opinions? You are way more than that. And I'm confident in you. You are worthy. You are enough. You are loved, bro. You are an amazing person. You got this. Lastly, the biggest inspiration in my whole entire life. XXX Tentacion. Jocelyn Dwayne Onfrey. I love you, bro. He went and said, It doesn't matter how dark it gets, the sun will always be out shining. And what he means by this is, bro, no matter how many setbacks you get along your journey, just like I showed you on the tunnel, no matter how many setbacks, discouraged, doubt from yourself, your friends, your family, your mother, your father, all telling you you're not going to do it, no matter how dark life gets, no matter how negative life gets, always stay positive, just like Joshua said. The sun